Hi, I'm Brennan Brown, New Age guitarist. Thank you for watching, and this is our interview. What in the heck prompted you to snake charm a king cobra with your guitar? That's a fair question. I've always had a fascination with exotic animals, and of course with my music, and music in general. And I think I was watching some guy uh, snake charm or uh, snake wrangle uh, a cobra. I was saying that's really cool, but how can I incorporate that with my music? And it just kind of came to me in the middle of nowhere. I was like, oh, instead of using maybe a flute of sorts, I could just use my guitar. Would you consider yourself crazy or stupid for doing this? Probably a bit of both. Although if I were to be kinder to myself, I would say I just have a very big fascination with exotic animals and music and this was definitely a creative way to implement and hybrid the two. What do you want people to experience while watching this video? I want people to experience what they feel they want or need to experience, uh, most specifically if that's excitement, uh, new way of thinking, uh, even a bit of terror, calmness, and connection, knowing that there are other ways that we can connect with animals uh, through other means that maybe we haven't even thought of yet. And in addition to that, while I was researching this project, I found that there was actually a lot of cobras, uh, especially in India, that are ungodly tortured, uh, which is very sad. Uh, a lot of times they have their fangs ripped out uh, and the insides of their mouths torched uh, so that they don't bite the handlers and run any risk, which is devastating. So I'm hoping to also raise a little bit of awareness and a cause for the animals that are in uh, in dire situations. Were you or the snake harmed at any time during this recording? None. None whatsoever. Uh, Hollywood Animals uh, has done a great job of maintaining and keeping their animals uh, in the best of conditions. Uh, I was not harmed. We had three snake handlers there making sure I was okay, making sure Hannah the male king cobra was okay. Uh, Hannah is fully equipped with two fangs uh, and has not been milked. So there's definitely a lot of danger, yet at the same time uh, we did have anti-venom on site just in case things went wrong. Shouldn't wild animals be left in the wild? Ultimately, yes. They should be left in the wild.
However, if we don't create these connections, if we don't have zoos, if we don't have people collaborating and working with these animals, we'll lose a connection with them. And if we lose a connection with them, we won't have any feelings towards exotic animals. We won't have any attachment. And likewise, we won't remember that many of these animals are endangered or going through severe harm within their own natural ecosystems. So it's very important that we do have situations like this or events or stories like this in which we can combine and create harmony with these animals. Would you do something like this again? Most definitely. And speaking of which, I have another project that I'll be working on very shortly and I can't wait for it to come out and we will see what happens.